So let's give this gas law problem a try. It's a little bit tricky. If you look down here, they're asking us to calculate the molar mass of the gas. And they give us grams, so you're thinking, well, I can change grams to moles and just use PV equals nRT. The thing is, we know that we have 1.211 grams, but they don't tell us exactly what the formula is. So we can't just change this to moles and find molar mass. What we'll need to do is use the combined gas law to find moles, and then we know molar mass, the units are grams per mole. So if we find moles here, we can put that in and we know how many grams we have, we'll find the molar mass and we'll be done. So let's calculate N and then we'll use this here, molar mass equals grams over moles, to calculate the final molar mass. Let's do it. So I've put all the values here in PV equals nRT. We have our pressure in atmospheres, and because atmospheres, we have that pressure there in atmospheres, this is the value for R we'll use. It has atmospheres right in the units. Then we have liters. That makes sense. Liters is here. We're looking for moles. We have degrees Kelvin right here. So everything matches up with the units. So I'm going to divide both sides by this here. And then all of this, that cancels out. So let's just get rid of that. Now we have atmospheres here and here, liters, liters, and then Kelvin here and here. You can see we're going to end up with moles. So we multiply these two numbers, then these two numbers, then divide the numerator by the denominator, and we'll have our moles. When we do that, we end up with... So now we have our moles here. All we have to do, we said molar mass has the units of grams per mole. So we'll put our 1.211 grams over the moles right here. We just found that. And when we divide, we'll have grams per mole. That's the units for molar mass. We end up with 44.04 grams per mole. So that's the molar mass of the substance of this unknown gas. If you wanted to figure the identity of the gas, you could look at the different oxides of nitrogen like NO2 or N2O or NO and figure out which one of these here has a molar mass of very close to 44.04 grams per mole. That would be the gas. That's it. This is Dr. B figuring out the molar mass of an unknown sample of gas using the combined gas law and the concept of molar mass. Thanks for watching.